Hello folks, I'm Giuseppe Nava from Simulation Daily. Yesterday, NVIDIA released DLSS 4.5 with a couple of new presets, and one that is specifically interesting is preset M. Apparently, it really helps in reducing that annoying ghosting effect that has been an issue in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 for the longest time, if you use DLSS and frame generation. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to enable it, but for now, let's take a look at the issue and do a quick comparison with a new preset. Here I am taking off from Tokyo Haneda with the simulator on ultra setting 1440p, DLSS and frame generation 2x, since I am using a 4080 that's all I get, and preset K, which used to be the latest and greatest before the new release. Incidentally, I am also using a rather demanding traffic setup with Beyond ATC and FSLTL models to give the sim a bit more of a challenge. Ghosting is very evident, you can see it pretty much in every part of the glass cockpit, the speed tape, the altitude tape, even the flight director when I rotate, it's really pretty messy. Since I don't have a 5090, I certainly enjoy using frame generation DLSS, but the ghosting has always bothered me quite a lot. I'm sure I'm not the only one. You can also see the ghosting here as the autopilot performs the turn. While it's not as bad as on the speed and altitude tapes, it's all over the navigation display as the compass numbers move sideways. Let's zoom in a little bit and you can see it even better. Of course, the faster the elements of the display move, the more ghosting is visible, for instance when the climb rate grows. Who am I kidding? It's so obvious that I don't really need to explain, you probably already know where to look. Let's watch a little more before we move on to preset M. Ok, here I am performing the same takeoff with preset M. I haven't changed anything else and the conditions are almost identical. And yes, I forgot to set my Q&H to 1014, but it's going to be similar enough to draw a comparison. I'm fairly sure you can notice without me telling you that the ghosting effect is much reduced on every element of the screen. The difference is really night and day. It isn't gone completely, you can see it especially when the numbers on the altitude tape move really fast but it's much, much less prominent and disturbing. Incidentally, I'm using the LSS quality. Interestingly, Nvidia says that percent %M is designed for performance mode, but it works great with quality as well. Nvidia also mentions that it's a bit more demanding than percent %K in terms of hardware, but if you compare the frame rates, they're pretty much identical. This is likely because, like most people that will use traffic, I'm CPU constrained. If you are GPU constrained, you may get a small performance dip. It looks really a whole lot better. Let's watch a bit more before we move to a side by side comparison. Let's zoom in a bit and you can see just how clean the screen looks compared to the mess we had with the preset K. When the numbers go really fast, on the altitude tape, costing is quite visible, but I'm certainly happy with the fact that it's reduced in most situations.
Now let's watch side by side. Preset K is on the left and preset M is on the right. I'm positive you don't need much of an explanation here, so I'll rest my voice. But if you keep your eyes on the glass cockpit, you'll notice that the difference is absolutely massive. When you're satisfied, you can skip to the next part of the video. There are chapters available in the description. Another place where ghosting is really visible and annoying with preset K is AI traffic, with stabilizers and wingtips that pretty much look like they are bleeding into the air when the aircraft move. You can see it as the first airliner takes off in front of us here and the second passes by on the taxiway. The ghosting is visible even when they are not moving very fast. Now let's take a look at another airliner taking off but with preset M. You'll notice that the bleeding effect is much reduced and nearly gone.
Here is one taxiing by, showing the difference when the aircraft is moving slowly. Now let's compare them side by side, and the difference is even more visible. Again, preset K is on the left and preset M is on the right of the screen. So how do you enable Preset M? Open the NVIDIA app and go on Settings. Then click on About and activate the option Opt-in to access beta or experimental features. Then go on Drivers and update to version 591.74. You'll see that it's dated January 5th. Make sure that it's at the game ready driver and not the studio version. Lastly, go on graphics, select Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Scroll down to the DLSS Override Model Presets option, click on Custom and select Preset M on Super Resolution. Latest should also work. Then click on Apply. If this doesn't appear, you may have to restart the NVIDIA app after opting into the beta features. And you're all set. As usual, if you have questions or doubts, feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. That's always super helpful. You can also leave a comment if you have feedback. We always enjoy reading them. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We hope to see you again soon here on Simulation Daily's YouTube channel and on the site. We have plenty of content coming, so stay tuned.